Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the price point of these cards. Uh, the cards I'm talking about are the foil, full art, fetch lands, shock lands, and slow lands, as well as other types of lands that are going to come out in the future. It looks like they're going to be 25 this time, and there's going to be 20 the next time. So this cycle seems to be all the fetch lands, all 10 fetch lands, all 10 shock lands, and the five new dual lands. Now, when I first read it, I was like, okay, they're just mythic. But they're not just mythic, they're foil mythic. So the chance of getting one is about one a case. Now, that means I have various... I, I would go over the math myself of how many packs I, will, I should be able to open one on camera, assuming I open all my packs on camera. And that would be very cool. Now, the price point is going to very very be dependent on how often the card sees play so something like steam vents if you are twin is the best deck in modern the sky is literally the limit like the sky is the limit for that card that card could easily hit 500 plus dollars now the slow lands i'm going to call them the new dual lands i don't think they're going to hit over 200 bucks um, that's my personal feeling I don't think they're as good as the fetch lands or the shock lands. It really all depends on what shock land, fetch land you pull. But it is quite it is quite possible that you pull a card during pre-release or out of a pack worth north of five hundred dollars, depending on the land. Now this is crazy to me. I like the fact that these are. I like the fact that you can pull a card and then pay for an entire deck. But I don't like the fact that people don't have them. Like, I will probably go get head and get... I can't get even 10. Because if if you assume that you get 10 fetch lands, I will assume I'm out $3,000, $4,000 for just 10 fetch lands. If I get a play set of fetch lands um, of the one I want, and there's a particular one I want, obviously, I would want Polluted Delta or Misty Rainforest. Assuming Misty Rainforest is north of 500, which is... I don't know. It's it's a weird assumption to make. You're talking about a play set for two thousand dollars. You're talking about a complete play set, a hundred, you know, four of these play sets of twenty five for so a hundred cards total. If their average is four hundred bucks, you're talking about forty thousand dollars for a complete set of these lands. Maybe less. Let's say it's thirty five thousand dollars. That is very icky to me because guess what? There's another bunch in the next set and there's another bunch in the next set. So as a collector, I don't like the fact that this is happening. As a casual player, I love it. Uh, the reason I love it is I don't need the card to play with. I'm going to go ahead and sell the card and somebody will buy the card. And there are magic players who can afford this type of luxury, if you will. I don't know. I love it. But at the same time, I do wish it was more... It wasn't. It was more common for the average player, but I. What can you do? And by the way, I did predict that full art lands and full art sharks, full art fetch lands were coming out. So yeah, <laughs> bye guys.